Today on The Breakfast, Federal Ministry of Transportation direct resumption of the Abuja Kaduna train services on Monday, 23rd May, with victims of attack still in captivity. Also on The Breakfast, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, arrests Accountant General of the Federation, AGF Ahmed Idris, over 80 billion naira fraud. And like always, we will be reviewing the major stories making headlines across national dailies. Good morning to you. This is The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. And I am Messia Bopo. Beautiful morning to you. Yeah, it's glad to have you join us. We trust uh, you had yourself arrested uh, night and uh, you are braced up for the day ahead. All right, uh, without further ado, we'll just get straight to the business of the day. We'll just slide into what is trending. Indeed, a whole lot is trending. Nigerians are talking about a whole lot of things, uh, you know, uh, big things, uh, the good ones, the bad ones, and of course the ugly at the same time. But let's start off with um, the issue of... Um, bribe or bribery and uh, corruption and this time around it is uh, it involves a police officer who is actually asking for bribe uh, amidst uh, you know lambasting Bakalebuskai as he's speaking in talks that he's uh, so there was a video that, you know that trended um, over time but let's take the video okay I understand we don't have the video anymore anyway so uh, Bercy it is. Uh, it got a whole lot of nice. I, I, I wish we could actually play that video. It mm. would make a lot of sense, but that's fine. Let's go ahead. Yeah, it is. It is really um, a very, very. It was funny at the same time, but it is really sad. You know that this issue of um, bribery and corruption. It's not going to leave um, the fabrics of our society anytime soon. So you remember that sometime in March, you know those uh, threats by personnel of the Nigerian Police Force asking mm. for the. They were going to embark on the strike, asking for the implementation of the, you know, salary salary structure. And at that time, you also want to remember that the president had asked that there be some increment in terms of salary and allowance. Yes, but this is not trying to hold brief for bad behavior and unprofessionalism, however you want to look at it. Well, it still brings us back to the fact that if you look at the welfare of this police officer, it was really comic looking at that video. And I know that we're definitely going to put out that before we get over mm. this particular conversation, this generating reaction. Very comical because um, the state police officer was, was seen to be preaching the gospel. He sounded very spiritual and we're talking about the Christian religion and he went on and on. But I played that video a couple of times and what I could deduce was, I think he was just trying to beg for money. By pitching. Yeah, he, he, he was just, he was just, all he was just trying to do was just find his way to ask the young man involved that, hey, come on now, find me something, you know, do well. <laughs> all those kind of conversations, that's exactly what was going on. He went on to say, oh, there's nothing wrong with your papers, I'm just saying, Ah, you are a chairman, and all of this language, and 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 it's it's not acceptable, because um, if you also follow the conversation with the person or you know the vehicle owner, he had um, impounded or whatever it is that he was having conversation with. You find out that he had his papers. He was mm. very sure that everything in the papers were correct. And so what's the reason for all of that? But I could just see a little bit of trying to say, hey, come on now, you know, <laughs> give me some money. I have, in the course of this job, you know, sometimes we get to move out in, you know, late hours and all of that. So once upon a time, not in, you know, this region or in this state, I remember being out and about for an assignment. And of course I had to be out very late. We we're accosted by, uh, checkpoints and what have you. So you f you have uh, the military personnel, you find them uh, on the road checking because of crime and criminality that's happening. Even though you ask yourself, why do you have to have a military officer on the road? It's not their business. They have no business being on the road. And that's the honest truth. But, you know, it's one of the things that he said, I gave him money. I didn't give him money because I was going to bribe him. But he said, when I told him who I was and he saw my ID card, he was like, you're enjoying. 
you're inside a car that's fully air conditioned and everything is going on for you. We don't even have water to drink. And that broke my heart. So I gave him money. Mm. I didn't bribe him, but I, I just gave him because... Yeah, because you felt be at that particular time... Yeah, he uh, needs he it. the maker from human kindness, yeah, because... Exactly, and it, it, it can really be um, very emotional and very, very sad that those who protect us, those who should be... Those who render these essential services uh, are not treated fairly. They, they don't have what it is. I mean, because I feel like it's... People who just have to come up, okay, I'm wearing a uniform, then I have to bully you, I have to find a way to intimidate you because I have a uniform, I have the gun. And then you have to respond to all of this, this extortion. Yeah. But also, it's wrong, it's not acceptable, it's not an excuse, but I think that the Nigerian government needs to pay attention to, to those who we have said should protect us. Look at the welfare. I have gotten several reports. It's nothing to write home about. The, if you, even when you look at the police officer, a lot of them don't look... Um, they don't look well. They don't even look not fit. Presentable. They're not properly taken care of. From their uniform being very tacky to the kind of gun that they're holding with cello tape. Have you seen it? <laughs> it's, really, it's really embarrassing. And when things happen, sometimes I'd be like, is this this officer that would run? Can he even run? So uh, it, it's okay for us to say that there's an extortion. These persons are extorting people, but it's also okay to think about it. I couldn't even hold myself when he said, we can't even drink water. We've been here all night and we, there's no provision to drink water. That's really sad. It is a sad one. Like you have said, um, the government and the police service commission, those in charge you know, of um, ensuring um, the welfare of um, these um, officers who uh, risk their lives or lay down their lives uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, uh, Order is, um, you know, is, uh, is assured in the society. They, they need to be well taken care of. But let's take the video. We'll come back and talk more about the welfare of police officers in Nigeria. Bros, I told you about spiritual vision. He's training me. What is training me is the word of God, the personality of the word of God. If I stop you and I don't see, I mean, why the, what are you talking about, Bros? See. If I stop you and I refuse to see what the host of heaven How has made me to stop you, I stop, I stop, I leave this, <laughs> this earth. This is your host of heaven. Ali Baka will shut down. Ali Baka will shut What is wrong with you? I've been following you with humility of the way, yeah, with obedience I, of I the way. I need to go. Okay, yeah. you need to go. Mm -hmm. Put package that thing and give uh, me. Give me my document first, too. Before you go give me the 10 naira. Let me say, the uh, drug event thing. Just what is the document? Am I seeing your document? Give me first now. Mm. So that when I give you finish now, I, you just... I won't run. How you go run? If I won't run, I go down on since now. No, you can't run. Hey, hey, I won't run. See, not that I can't do you know who arrested you? No, not that I can't run. I it's not run. police who arrested you. God arrested you for me today. Hallelujah. Thank God I'm ah. born again. You say? Thank God I'm born again. I hope you are born again. What, what is the meaning of born again? I've given my life to Christ. I'm what, have, have, you, have, have you been converted? Have you been recreated? By the grace have, of God. What is the grace of God? By the truth of the word of God. You are still a church hey, man. Next thing, watch me here. What, do you know what is biting you? Can't, except you can't, you cannot understand yeah, me. Yeah, I heard you. Even I try to show you something here, you, you are not even interested. What is wrong with you? As you then, and if you give me 10,000, it is in our money. Na money. Na money for where you did. be big man now. Which one be big man? Money. Where are the motors? Yeah, the husband, my husband, I know you boy. Which one be a woo boy? Yeah. Even no, you are boy, they spend money. Wait, did I tell you say you be a woo boy? Why are you talking like this? Why are you trying to be very stingy? Chief, ah, chief, chief, which one is chief? chief? Don't call me chief. chief. If chief. You can call me man of God. Don't call me man chief. Man of God. I am not yeah, chief. Like God. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Which one is doing? Look at the way you are talking flesh, flesh, flesh. You know, not see Adamu to enter. What do you want us to do? Give me a document first. Not be a document. Package me first. Package. Inside of his there, this is a matter we treat it no less than. Which which matter? What are you talking about now? I see, bros. I'm not here to play. Chief, make her they go. Bros, take me to office, I beg. Chief, make her they go. Why are they go office? Because why why won't I go office? Because of the papers. I'm which papers? Which paper is not complete? I've asked you now. Which paper don't I have now? Please, if I don't like this argument. You let's go, let's go. I've shown you this. Excuse me. Let's go. Let another senior officer enter into it. Because Chief, I'm not going. I, stop I, have, chief. I, have my, I am not I have a chief. All right, um, th that's um, the video we've been talking about. The sentiment about the guy just has to do his job professionally. If uh, you checked his papers, uh, even if you needed to uh, check his papers, and you found out that uh, there was nothing wrong, so why stall him? Why delay him? Uh, and if he has to give you anything, if, even if he wants to, it is to be from his own volition. You should not force him, you know, insisting that he has to give you 10,000 for crying out loud mercy. Uh, after all the preaching that you've preachified the guy. 
So uh, let's even come to the part of preaching, right? Mm -hmm. uh, even the Bible would say, those who believe in the Bible, if you read it very well, it would say that uh, you have to test all spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to believe everything. So anyone True. can come in a disguise of saying they are preachers. I mean, he sounded very spiritual. You could take him serious Apparently for... Apparently not so spiritual. Uh, <laughs> you could take him serious for a while. But it feels like maybe it could, it could just also be a way to cajole people yes, to get that's you that's to... just a complete gimmick. If you were preaching, then you preach, then you preach and go. And let him just... No, well, what's the essence of the preaching? He's, he, 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 he because if you follow the conversation... So free if you follow that. the conversation, it was that it wasn't... <laughs> yeah, he didn't stop the guy because... Uh, he he, he was led to, to stop the guy. It was led. not even him. Uh, like, so it was not very even spiritual. the police director. And you know how... And you know how Nigerians can be very gullible oh, when it has God, to do with a lot of people who just that, fall yeah. for this and when you hear oh there's a God involved in this and mm. it's spiritual and then you fall for it and say oh man of God take this take this so, the <laughs> so God, but I just see I just see a police, police officer who, who needs money and he tried to be decent Le in asking for the money not going the he regular was asking route. For a bribe. That's what it is. No, he of course he, that's a bribe. Mm -hmm. He was asking for money, right? But I'm saying that he tried to be very decent in all what of this. What stylish way to ask for bribe? Exactly. It disguise <sighs> come with the fact that you are trying to proclaim that you are a Christian, hmm. and uh, Christian. <laughs> it's a lot. But right, we move I'm away from move that. On. Uh, I, I know. I, I'm hoping that because his face was identified, so we hope that he's been. Uh, well, the second no. reaction should be, you know, meted out to him. Uh, my, my director says he was just hungry. Well, if he was hungry? Just hungry, he would have step, stepped aside. If for us, for us, your guy, you're hungry, buy me food now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, still talking about um, divinity, providence, uh, divine intervention. This time uh -huh. around, it was at um, um, a church service. You know how people, you know, could be and how people could get very spiritual, you know, when it comes to their needs and how... Mm, I'm trying to avoid some water. And I know you, I see, so I actually envisaged this. I knew you were going to laugh a lot. Well, <laughs> but it feels like you're trying to put yourself together. So if you want to laugh, I laugh. I remember the last time I clapped out so loud. <laughs> enjoyed, and, um, this time around, some uh, congregants, you know, congregants, single ones at that, um, they were desperately um, asking God to intervene in their singleness or singlehood as it is right now. I wish I, let's hear the sound of it. It will... Bring more rice into the cake. <laughs> Way to go. Mercy, where did they carry you to go? <laughs> you know, I mean, and, and the yeah, lady who was singing was singing, I think she needs to go to the studio and she sounds like one of, she sings very well, you know, uh, you know, well, okay. Uh, yeah, she sings very well. And, um, carry me there go, Jehovah, carry me there go, my husband house. <laughs> In my mind, I'm just thinking. I, I, I think that, that, that song a, should be released as a single. See, see, trust me. I mean, it's a lot. So I saw this video yesterday, and it's been generating a lot of reactions. It's <laughs> it's very comical. There's no way we probably would have put this out without laughing. And if you don't laugh, just know there's something wrong with us. But then they are, they are seeking God's intervention. But what in sort their of life. intervention? They need the husbands in their lives. <laughs> So I, I I don't know what it is. I don't even know where to start from. No, they want to be the They want me to carry them go husband house. No. And how? <laughs> I don't know. God will bring men to their lives. No. So I, I think that um, you know the issue of marriage is very great for us. I, I we've actually had this conversation. Maybe it's not you with uh, Kofi or maybe uh, one of us, right, in the system. And we talked about the fact that we we live in a society where marriage has been 
it feels like when you graduate from the university, okay, for, from the time you start school, your parents have already sorted out how your life should work. So <laughs> marriage is a priority. It's on top of the list. And no one says that it is bad. Mm. Do you understand? No one says that marriage is horrible. It's not a bad thing. It's not, I mean, it's okay to be married and all of that. But when it gets to the point where it feels like then we have to be seeking, you know, uh, prayers for this and then begin to ask, um, that's because some people have been, it's how we have prioritized it. African parents, Nigerian parents, if you want to say. So it feels like when you get to a certain school from nursery, primary school, and then you get to secondary school, you um, get through the university. At a certain age, it's expected that mm, you should marry. Like your third so, so, year, so it, it's problem. not even so. First of all, educational. If you follow the process, because there, there are some parents who are very, uh, families who are very um, specific that you have to go through, the, you know, the educational process. So as soon as you're done, you you have graduated. The next thing is you're getting married. Mm. That's the chat. That's the process. That's it entirely. But someone made a comment yesterday that got my attention, and this person is very. I think she's a journalist. I, I read that comment about all of this and the person said, you know, some of these persons who are asking to be married don't even have a job, they don't have any sort of livelihood, there's really nothing to write home about and they're just waiting, you know, to, to be, be married. married off. They're we, not enjoying their singlehood. They, exactly. They, they're, not, they're nothing of what they can bring so, to the So I feel like family. this is coming from the pressure from society. Yes, family the, the, this, is, this, is, this is as a result of uh, the pressure of society, um, you know, um, all of the... Making women to be desperate. So this, this is actually it. And, and then you look at some of the people who are really here, really, what exactly are we mm. talking about? So uh, it, it comes from the parity the society have, have put... Uh, you know, in front of us and the fact that, you know, there's a lot of pressure. Whether or not you like it or not, you still have people call you and say, you're not married, what's going on? Why you're not married and all of that. And so it would be responsible why some of these persons will be thinking that they have some spiritual problem. First of all, they'll be thinking it, that there's something wrong with them. There's no problem with, there's no problem but, with but any... But Justin, problem. have you also th thought that just as we're going to have the poor, the poor would always be with us. Have you also, also thought that it's not everybody that's going to get married? I was going to say that because, see, life... See, you, in life, you should understand what your purpose is, really. Most people think their life is just to, like Messi has said, uh, go through a primary, secondary school, university, then uh, get into marriages, uh, give birth and have children, and expect their children you know, to start going to school and everything, just like a circle. But then have you actually asked yourself, uh, have you ever tried to discover why you are in this world? What uh, have you been brought here to do? What's your purpose in life? What is your contribution to, you know, to, to the world, exactly? So most times... In as much as you want to get married and you're still single, you should try and understand your singlehood, enjoy your singlehood, make the most of your singlehood, and of course, build on yourself, work on yourself. I'm not trying to do some maybe single and married classes here. Well, maybe I should be doing some counseling. But the truth is that the fact is really enjoy your singlehood until when that time comes, you will get married if you desire it. And, and again, to the society, not... I don't know why I put so much emphasis. Marriage is good. It is an institution made by God. Fine, we understand all that. But some people just might never get married. Some people just don't want to get married. Some people just want to live their lives for themselves. I mean, it is their prerogative. They can do whatever they want to do. Don't pressure them. First of all, it is their life. They can live it the best way they want to, so long as they're not hurting anyone. They're not um, going against the law. So let's just um, slide away from that. Then again, uh, here in, um, okay, not here in Lagos, in Oshun State. Now, remember the, the uh, Senator Adeleke, uh, this time around, uh, he was uh, uh, being uh, uh, boastful, as it is, of um, his uh, financial capabilities. He said, I've come with money, Adeleke boast during campaign. Okay, so we understand we have the track. We'll take that track and we'll come back and talk some more. You are the one to decide. Yeah. This is your right to do. Yeah. And I pay, I'm not for you. Do my dad want you? Want to go with that? Go to the other I need to see you. I need to see you enjoy it. Not to be. 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 Fire! 
Welcome back. That was at the campaign um, rally in um, Ocean State. You know, the elections are just around the corner. But let me just uh, translate uh, a quote into my director. Uh, he was speaking in Yoruba. There. I might not say whatever he said verbatim, but uh, he says, uh, people of Ocean, it's time to decide. Don't be scared. If it is about money, I have brought money. Have patience. I have money in Naira, dollars, and pounds. I don't know. We talk about uh, money politics and um, campaigning and everything, and uh, we're just seeing this in broad daylight. And uh, it's not just about whether he has money, whether he's boasting about his money. So he's telling the people that he has brought money. Is it some sort of um, inducement? You know, I wonder what the EFCC does when people just come out. I don't know if, we are, uh, if they are sleeping, but the truth is that when things are done like this, I just feel that it is not right. So um, it's okay to have the conversation that is not right. Uh, first you say it's not right, but is, is this a reality? There's another thing that you need to also understand. Now, whether or not we want to agree or we want to believe with it, it's what has become. It is our reality. The money bag politics is what we practice. It's just shameful. And so <clears throat> as much as we can't say, yes, we know that there's a lot of effort to say let's dissuade people, but what really happens, we see hands, you know, uh, bags exchanging and people um, doing all sorts. And so it is, it is really what, you know, that has become part of our political process. And a lot of times you find that the people would sell their votes, you have delegates doing that. And you also have the people who are vying for the officers trying to induce the people. So in, in the particular context, what exactly is he talking about? Um, don't worry that I probably might not be stealing your money because I have money, you know, in pounds and dollars. Or what does it really mean if it's money you want him here to give um, you the money? Give money it could just mean anything really. But um, we can't take that out from the fact that this is the kind of politics that we practice, where money would always exchange hands for almost everything. And, that, and that's why, uh, you know, for the likes of him, one would say that his, his, his um, you know, he has the guts to really say that. No, Not necessarily understanding the context. It was a that dead devil approach, the, you know, in the, in the glare of the public. You know, all of these things happen, the exchange of money, money back politics and, uh, you know, inducing people behind uh, you know, closed doors, even uh, during election grants and inciting them or inducing them with money. But this time I'm coming to a campaign grant and that I don't know what context it meant, but it could be read from various, um, various lines, various perspective, or that he has money and that he doesn't need the people's money, or maybe he's here to make the people happy with his pounds, dollars, and um, naira. But the fact is that uh, what are you selling to the people? Let our, our politicking, let our campaigns be issue based. What are you bringing to the table? What difference are you coming to make? And the mean them are not just mere promises, not just uh, promising them that um, uh, you have money and that um, money is not your problem and um, they should calm down. Yeah, so y you also know, I'm, I'm trying not to, you know, hold brief for him. Mm. If you don't like it. You know, know him, but the, the truth is, if you also want to understand in what context was this put out, mm. it could also be because a lot of people think that those who are vying for political office are vying for political position because they um, they probably want to just take the part of the national um, cake. They want to be part of the national cake, and that's what it is. So we're here. Not necessarily as much as we're saying, okay, yeah, we're here for you. We want to change your story. We want to change the dynamics and change the situation. But uh, on the other hand, the essence that you hear is because you want to also be part of the national cake, take your own share, move mm. on. And so it might be from that premise that I'm saying, hey, relax, yeah, I have money. I have it in Naira, I have it in Pound. But it could also be in the context that um, <clears throat> it's okay. If you want money, I have money, I can give you money. So just relax, I'm here. 
it could just mean anything. But like I said, it's our reality. <laughs> That's what it is. The fact that some people have decided to be um, bold to come forth and sound this, which comes through as some level because, I mean, if you come out and say, hey, I have money, it's a lot of arrogance. Imagine me just saying that you have money, well, I have money, come well, to well. me. Okay, fine, we are almost out of time, but let's uh, just try and take this one. Uh, I know the Lagos State uh, traffic law has been in place since 2012. Uh, there's been a whole lot of uh, clam down, relaxation, uh, resumption of clam down. Uh, this time around, uh, uh, we hear that the Lagos State government is about beginning to clam down on uh, commercial motorcycle operators, uh, popularly known as Okada. You know, there are several routes that the government uh, you know, posted out that uh, should not be you know, applied by these and Okada riders. And, um, ah, you know, it was like a field day for, you know, corrupt uh, police officers, uh, you know, trying to, you know, make uh, the most of um, the situation uh, with um, the police, um, the Okada riders over time. And, uh, but the fact is that right now, it, there is a law concerning this uh, uh, issue of uh, routes to apply, routes not to apply. And I think it's been 10 years. Uh, most people should be aware of all they need to do by now. But the Lagos State government is about clamping down on them. Let's see just how, let's just see how that goes. Mm. <clears throat> but you also understand that um, this would, uh, it's in connection with the man that was what actually in killed yes. in Lekki a day before the yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. And I know that for some states, uh, uh, you have that they had actually put out a law, especially in Kursiva State, once upon a time, where there's a serious prohibition on uh, Okada, if you like to say. I mean, mm. they're popularly known. Mm, uh, they have been pilot. restricted from some certain, certain roads. roads in the state and then you probably only have to find them driving or riding around the, the feeler roads mm. so because sometimes you have i mean the feeder roads mm. uh, sometimes you need to get to the road and so there are feeder roads where you have to transport sure. people but that's the much that they can do and it's it's a lot going on but of course it's a responsibility of government at every time and in different quarters Yes, uh, well, whatever it is, uh, let's just try as much as possible to obey all the laws and abide by all traffic rules. Uh, it was sad what really happened with um, the guy that was killed, you know, we talked about it yesterday. But I would still wish um, the family, uh, you know, of the, of, the, of the guy who died and the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. That's as much as we can take on Top Trending. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back uh, shortly with um, Off the Press to join us again.